Hello fellow Hot Wheels collectors. A uh, bit of an oddity video this. Again, it's a mixture of things. Again, I've been to a car boot sale. I've been to various toy shops and found some stuff. Uh, found another odd car at where I work. And friend gave me some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start off with all the uh, cardy stuff. Okay, from 1995, an original short carded matchbox card this is very rare you never usually find them short carded this is the 54 mazda rx-7 i don't think it's from 1957 or 1954 so if it was from 1954 that's a pretty damn good looking car so it's obviously the mazda rx-7 it's on a short card it's a uh, very very rare to find that and that was at a car boot sale so nice good find okay uh went to um my dad's work uh tesco's which is milton and found the ford mustang gt concept treasure hunt my door's just open so excuse me Sorry, my door opens up there. So there is the 2013 treasure hunt. It seems to be a case of treasure hunts are fairly common for me now. Again, I found pretty much all of them, almost, other than the early stuff. But again, that's a nice find. That's one that I need in my collection. Okay, the other one I got there as well, of course, was the Bad Ratitude. I've seen this in the Q case, or, yeah, Q case, which is the next Cotwheels case in the second colouring. In white, eh, I think I prefer this black version. It's much cooler. Okay, then went to Ely uh, Sainsbury's and found the Nissan Skyline GT Dash R slash R34, which is the very cool black one. Be nice to have one of these in Zymac, but again, this is nice as well. Okay, um, right. All around here are various cars that I have picked up from the car boot sales. So, first of all, we shall start with one that came from the charity shop. It is a Dodge Challenger drift car. In very good condition. This was just lying in one of the boxes. Very, very neat. Very minty as well. Hardly any damage on it. So it looks like this was blister pulled and then played with, but not very much. Very, very cool car. Uh, I've sadly run out of space to put them because uh, I've still got Cracker Jack's RKO. I've got more up here and some over here. Box there. It's all chaotic. Okay, uh, next I have a couple of my friends' donations. Uh, this is the Dodge Super 8 Hemi. This is a very flat rod type of car. Sadly, again, the uh, alloy wheels are a bit worn out on it. So, again, but I haven't got one of these. Not one that I've got to my collection, to say the least. So, pretty good. Also, as well, he gave me another 69 Chevelli, which is the uh, racing type car. Green version, not one I've got. I know Race Groove's daughter will like this, probably has it. But again, I don't have the green version. I do have quite a fair few uh, versions. Got the yellow, got the clear. I think I've got a red version. Uh, I think I've got a blue version or a purple version. Anyway, oh yeah, also from the charity shop, suddenly remember this one here. It's a nice little Matchbox uh, Land Rover 90. Original little uh, cool car, this. It's all intact, very strange, just a uh, slight wear and tear. A slight crack on the um, window pane there. It's all in very good condition, this. Again, usually you don't find um, very good condition cars. But again, that one surprisingly is. Okay, next up we have the car boot sale cars. First up we have a out of the box mad props. Sadly missing one of the wing, uh, one of the propellers there. But again, other than that, very nice colours. It's got the uh, classic design on the wings. And this is in 20, uh, 2013, so it's a very good, very good to see that this one is still around, even nowadays. Okay, next up we have a McDonald's... Um, 
WT40, that's what it says on the base, but this is definitely from McDonald's because I had two of these in childhood. Also had the McDonald's uh, version as well. This is the uh, blue version. The McDonald's one I've not seen yet. This one I usually see a lot of. Very basic, funny car, plastic base, metal body. Very cool car. Another see you later. This time instead it's in a very greeny teal. That's a very beautiful colour. I actually got confused on this because I didn't think it showed up on South Texas Diecast, but it did. Very nice colouring indeed. The second Camaro uh, convertible concept in green. Some very nice white outlines there. Very cool colours. I prefer the red one though with the flames. Much, much better. But that one's nice as well. Next up we have the Mercedes, or the AMG Mercedes CLK DTM. Very flashy looking car this, definitely a racing car. Very, very cool indeed. Very, very cool. No tampos or anything, just basic colour. Okay, next up we have another. We have a 71 Dodge uh, Charger in orange. This is a very cool orangey colour. Just a simple basic black stripe on the side there. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Next up we have a 2003 Unknown because it has no name. It has no name whatsoever. But this one I like. It's very cool. This is the second version of this one I've got. Help me out with this one guys. I have absolutely no idea what the name of this model is. It's from 2003, I've checked on South Texas, 2004 and 2003, it's not on there, it's not in 2002 either, and after 2004 they don't seem to have any new models, or they don't have any better models. But again, this one is a very nice colouring, because it has yellow, it has also these very cool sand type wheels, I'm loving these. Next up we have the Flight 03, yet another variation. Very, very nice yellowy type of this one. Now, this is the sort of car that basically you would see sort of like cruising around sort of like the streets in nowadays modern. Because what it looks like it's based on is um, a 2005 uh, Honda Type R car. Very, very nice little uh, boy racer type car. It's very cool, very neat. Probably one of the most underrated and strange mobiles is the, whoa, almost lost it, it is a bit like a fish this, but it's a Phantom This, and this is from the uh, Batman uh, 5 pack, apparently worth a dollar on uh, South Texas. The only thing cool about this is the fact that it has these spinning blades on here. What would be cool is a custom of this if you could somehow make these blades spin with a motor. And then, so, or make a bigger version of this Hot Wheels. This model isn't very popular, but what you could do here is basically large this up to sort of like RC model, make these propellers spin, and make this sort of somehow turn around or actuate, so you basically can turn it, and it could be a cool little submarine. Even better, if you wanted to really go a bit more expensive, on the top here, attach a web camera or a camera so people could go deep sea diving in their uh, lakes and ponds. That would be brilliant. Okay, admittedly, probably wouldn't be very good after so I got a few uses, but oh well. Next up, we have two of the same car here. Uh, can't remember the names, but uh, no, you are not deceded. This is, those are gold Ultra Hot Wheels. Both of the same car. I've forgotten the, mo uh, forgotten the name of this. They did show up in South Texas. Very, very cool car. One has got extreme something on the side. The other one has sort of uh, tampo in designs on the top. Doesn't glow in the dark, this, in fact. Yep, dark. So that's just pure limey, minty, greeny type uh, surface. Cool nonetheless, though. Faster than ever Dodge Charger SRT8. Very nice wheels, these. Faster than ever ones, as you can see, they've got the bronze type effect on them. Very cool car this, very wavy graphics on the side, blue tinted windows, very nice indeed. Another uh, Corvette C6, this is in red, white and blue colours, so Mr Race Grooves would definitely like this one. It's very cool indeed that. 
same sort of tampos on either side very nice indeed okay next up we have a Ferrari 575 GTC second one I've got of these the other one you may remember is a red one so this is a nice variation of it very cool colouring indeed very cool car indeed remembering all these came from uh, the car boot sale okay next up we have a first colouring of the Jet 3.0 this is uh, from the 5 pack or first colouring uh, uh, can't remember I think it's from the 5 pack South uh, Texas will correct me on that very nice car indeed shame you don't see this one in the production line anymore it's, um, quite a heavy car so I don't know if you could sort of like turn it into a metal body or metal or plastic base not sure speaking of uh, metal bodies we have the 1997 Ford F100 which is uh, very confusing on South Texas does it fall under the Ford F100 or 1997 I have no idea but either way they do not like this model at all so a very cool car indeed or pickup very nice model. Next up we have a Jester. This is the only one that has uh, a toy in the back of the car. See that little bit there? That is basically the uh, RAC car. The other thing I think in there is just bits and tools and stuff. This is a nice colouring. Plastic body. I wonder if this is a good track car actually. Be a good one for race groups to test out. Oh, excuse me. Almost sneezed, but didn't quite. Next up, we have a Fat Fendered 40. Very nice red colours, very nice basic flames. Very nice car indeed. I do like these Fat Fendered 40s. In fact, I still have uh, Cracker Jack's one that he sent me, the uh, Real Riders variation. Have seen this on South Texas. It is supposed to have some flames on the side there, but sadly it doesn't. But again, that happens. Wearing and textured, it does happen. And next up, we have the 1987 Porsche 959. Plastic bodied, gold ultra hots. It's a very cool looking car. Some nice colours, nice tampos, just in general, a nice car. Anyway, that is pretty much it. I've gone through pretty much all of them. Um, I think so. Just let me have a quick check. Yep, that's all of them there. Done those, done those. It's all chaos. It's all chaos here. But again, that is all of those done. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.